Earlier this year, I posted a just a little thing video called Computers for the Blind and Visually Impaired, my 95 year old grandfather's road to new vision. You see, my grandfather has Best Syndrome, which is a form of macular degeneration. I'm sure you know a few people who can't see as well as they used to, and so this video will hopefully bring some ideas on how you can help them. Just to keep you in touch on how my grandfather has done, last week he watched Frankenstein on YouTube, played checkers, he chatted to all his grandchildren and children all around the world through WhatsApp, and has been enjoying keeping up to date with Facebook. I've created this video to show you how to set up your Android device for someone who's visually impaired. The tablet I used before was a 10.1 inch or a 25 centimeter Lenovo tablet. This time we ordered him a Nabi Big Tab HD 20 inch or 50.8 centimeters. Click on Play Store and search for the Google Now Launcher. Install it. Next, reset the tablet by pressing the off button and then switch it back on. How awesome! Next, you want to remove every icon on the home and other pages except Play Store. Your home screen should now look something like this. Now it's time to customize the tablet with big icons. To do this, go to Google Play Store and type in Giganticon. Download it and then you're ready to add your big icon apps on the screen. Go to the home page, hold your finger down on any open space. A window will open which will give you three options wallpaper, widgets and settings. Click on widget. Scroll down until you see gigant icon and press it. Next, you'll choose the app you want in large and drag it to the home screen. Then do this the same with all the other apps that you're going to use. With my grandfather, I've set up checkers, YouTube, WhatsApp, calculator, gallery, Google News and Facebook. Next, that green background is very bright and distracting for someone who can't really see. So you'll want to add a dark background instead. Go to Google and look up a black background and save it as an image. Then you want to set that image as your wallpaper. To do this, you go to settings, display, wallpaper, and then gallery to choose the image. Finally, you want a black keyboard with white keys. Go to settings, language and input, theme, then choose the keyboard that has black and white keys on it. Click on the home screen and you're ready to enjoy the tablet. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and feel free to like and subscribe for more just a little think videos just like these.